Hey friends, um, this is my giant toy haul from mostly Walmart. Uh, it is their semi-annual clearance. They have one every July, it's unannounced, and their toys just go on clearance. Um, all of these are for Operation Christmas Child that happens um, every, technically December, but you turn in your toys in November and um, you put all of these in shoe boxes, but I'm sure you're probably aware of that because you found this video by searching for that. So let's get into the haul, friends. All right, so the first thing that you see here are these bows, and this is the one thing that is actually not um, from Walmart. I try to get my bows for under a dollar a piece because it's very tempting at the Dollar Tree to pay a dollar, but I know I can get a better deal. So I got these at Tuesday morning when I went in to get dog treats um, for $3.99 for seven bows. They're a little smaller, but I think it's a good deal. Then the next thing are these erasers here. Um, and these are just regular priced. There is the ocean theme. I'll show you on the inside in a second. Space theme. Sorry for the glare. And dinosaurs. So um, I really like these cases that they're in. They snap open really nicely. And then you get four really good sized erasers or toys depending on what the child decides to use them for. Here is that barcode. These are the space ones. So cute. A little alien and a flying saucer. A spaceship and a Martian. I guess he's probably not a Martian. He's probably an astronaut. that barcode and each of these were a dollar regular price not on sale this one is by far the cutest because for some reason girls things are always cuter look at this little turtle and then the whale but wait it's an octacorn <laughs> and does he have eight legs yeah octacorn and a narwhal isn't she adorable? Um, and there's her barcode. So there are those erasers and I will probably break them up into little um, pieces. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna use these containers um, for little sewing kits or maybe a small fishing kit for the gentlemen, the young lads. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. I'm getting over a little bug. This is the next thing, and it's called Lunchbox Surprise, and so I was hesitant to pick it up. I don't know who Blippi is. I'm assuming a YouTube phenomenon with the kiddos. Um, but it was only $2.34. There's the barcode for you. And it said a figure and two accessories. So I went ahead and got it. I was really nervous about the milk. And if you look in there, you can see an apple. Um, I don't like to send food things because we don't know their food situation and wouldn't want to tease them. Um, but I did buy two. And so here's what it's like on the inside. And you wouldn't know it's a lunchbox kit at all. In fact, um, this box is a really great quality and would be good um, for soap or for other kits, maybe art or again, fishing. But the really neat thing I think is um, a lot of these kiddos have limited access to internet, but they still do. And you can scan this code and find out about the story that goes along with the characters that came. And I'm assuming this is Blippi and uh, his head moves, and his arms move, and his legs move. And he come, his two accessories, he comes with a hat, 
which I'm sure goes along with the story, and a little fire hydrant. So I thought that was a pretty great little toy. Um, next, this was a little bit of a splurge for me. It's just a hacky sack, and you can get them anywhere for real cheap. Um, but I liked that this was a noticeable soccer brand and that it looks like a soccer ball and I have a soccer box so I splurged this guy wasn't on sale and I paid like two dollars and 88 cents for him this was a little splurge item then these little ponies I guess unicorns they are adorable um, they're good quality I get the ones at the Dollar Tree and they're decent uh, I, I think that they're great toys they will last a long time but these are even better. I wouldn't say that they're My Little Pony quality. Um, they're still squishy, they're still off-brand, but better than the Dollar Tree ones. And I paid, oh, I didn't write it down, 97 cents for her. She was half price. Then is this Glitzy Girl Crown. I like these because they do lay flat, but they're hinged so they can pop open. Here's that barcode. And this was 40 cents. Next is a little Love Diana doll. Oops, sorry, I bumped it. She is a superhero. Um, kind of encouraged me to do a little girl superhero box. She's a good sized doll with lots of little accessories and looks like a lot of hair to play with. She was $1.99. And then uh, Mr. Nitro Circus here that you've been looking at this whole time. He's definitely a toy for an older boy. Here's his, oh, nope. There's this barcode. Um, I didn't write it down. I want to say he was $3.33. But all the toys that I bought, that I bought multiples of, I've already opened the box. So here he is out of the box. I just put them in these baggies temporarily until they go in a Christmas shoe box, um, just so I can keep them together. And I did clip off a couple of his little um, things to put in there so that the kiddo sort of knows what his toy is. But this is great. He has um, this little stand, so it does stand flat up on its own, but the stand also pops off. Oh, and you can hear he makes noise when you do that with his tire. He makes motorcycle noises. And then the rider comes off, and he is a lot like uh, 1980s G.I. Joe. So he's got the little kung fu grip going on, and all his joints move. They're ball joints, so they're... Nice and sturdy, but um, that's what he looks like inside his box. Next are these superheroes. I got a Black Panther and an Iron Man. Oh, here is Black Panther's barcode. And here is Iron Man's barcode. And they were $3.66. And I got one more. So I took him out of the package so you could see. He is ready to, to be put in the shoe box. And he is Miles Morales. So, um... He is a Spider-Man from the Spider-Verse. And they all come with a little toy that clips on. This clips on, makes him look like he's shooting a spidey web. They're great quality. No screws or anything showing. Really good, I would say, for any age range because um, the content is good and the toy is good and, and there are no small parts so it can go for any age. But what I thought was really cool um, and I didn't notice until I took him out of his box is their little description on the back is in three languages. So 
I'm gonna include this in the bottom of my box with him so the little kiddo can read about his new superhero character. Next, this one, oh, excuse me. That was my chair scooting back. This one cracks me up because it reminds me of Tiger King, <laughs> right? Like there's a tiger and then a random play dude and this outlandishly colored Jeep. I am a little nervous about this because if you look close, this guy here, he looks very army dude. But I figure if I place him in his Jeep, which is obviously a safari Jeep, see the little rhino and the tiger stripes. And then back there in the back, I haven't opened it yet, but he comes with accessories. Now I will not include anything if it looks like a gun, but it looks like, see there's a water bottle and there's some binoculars, at least something he can play with. Um, and it does make safari noises. Um, so he wasn't bad and I got it for a dollar ninety nine. I'd say it's a win. Even if I don't put all of the things in there, that's a great little toy. Um, next, I'm really excited about Buzz. I'm doing a Buzz box and, and Buzz is kind of hard to find on his own. He's usually with Woody or uh, Bo Peep or someone, you know or an alien, and um, I'm just excited about Buzz. He is normally $8.88, and most of the Walmarts I went to, he was only on sale for like seven bucks, so I passed him up. And the last one I went to, I found him for $4.41. There's his barcode. Now, these guys, these are some standard Walmart toys. This is the airplane set. And this is the emergency vehicle set. Um, and they were $2.17 for all of these vehicles. Um, I opened this one up earlier, so that way I'd be able to show you the quality. It is really cute it's hard plastic so they're not squishy um, but I mean well I guess it does have a little bit of a give um, and then the wheels roll really nicely they're real high quality you see in there they're metal I guess yeah there you go you can see in there and they roll great perfect 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 and um, along those same lines was this little guy boop, 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 boop. Um, and he's pretty big for a box um, I will probably send him in as a filler toy because I don't have a theme that he will go with but it was just such a great toy I couldn't pass it up little recycling little people and here's his tag he was two dollars and thirty three cents I've seen a lot of people um, hauling all of these little Fisher Price little people. I went to four stores and only found this guy, and I only found two of them. Um, they're really cute. He would be cute in a polar themed, Arctic themed box, which I've seen a lot of people doing. Um, I don't know, they might go in as filler too, um, but it's great for a toddler, and they were 97 cents. Now, on to my little Sesame Street haul. This actually inspired me to uh, create a Sesame Street box. These characters, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree and thought, ah, I don't know, maybe. But if I bought them all individually at the Dollar Tree, this would be $5 and would be, for me, considered the wow item. It still can be the wow item, but I only paid $2.49. And I got five little figurines. And then the Cookie Monster. He is such great quality plush. Um, he still squishes, but he is not flimsy. You know, he's got the good stuff in there. And he's so soft 
and his little mouth. Burp, burp, burp. I wasn't sure I was gonna get him, but now that I got him home, I wish I had bought more. <laughs> he is a dollar ninety-seven. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna get a drink. Okay, and then this little musical set here. This is the Baby Shark one. Um, comes with four little instruments, and it was $2.75. I only got one Baby Shark one, uh, but I did get a Paw Patrol one, and I opened it so you can see them. Here it is in his baggie waiting for its box. And there's a little tambourine. Great for little toddler hands with the little characters. And then two maracas in the back. forget what these are called but that's what they are for and I thought that was a great buy for two dollars and 75 cents um, now on to the dolls guys I'm so excited about all the Barbie things for some reason most of the items that were for boys were only like 25% off. So I passed a lot of them up. Um, but all the girl stuff was like crazy on sale. These are the Sparkle Girl Barbies. I guess they're not Barbies. Sparkle Girl dolls that I got. And they're really beautiful in person. It's hard to tell um, on video. But... Uh, a thing that I thought was so impressive is they're not the same face. Like, to me, Barbies are all the same face and just painted differently. But these guys are individually and uniquely made. And I really love that. I also love that the ones that were available um, were not white dolls. Um, it's so hard for me to find anything but white dolls. And I really appreciated these. Um, she was the only one I found of her, and she was a dollar and thirty-three cents. But I found a lot of this beautiful unicorn doll. Um, here's her barcode. She was a dollar twenty-four. I'm gonna leave these right here while I show you the great quality in these dolls. Um, I don't know how old you guys are, but when I had Barbies, it was the late 80s and early 90s. And this is how Barbies were at that time. They are made of this different kind of, almost a rubber. Very high quality, solid, it's still solid. It's not those hollow ones like from the Dollar Tree. Um, but they're the that plastic, you see the seam? <laughs> it's reminding me of my childhood. And her toes are still pointed. Come on, focus. There you go. They're, well, that was short-lived. They're still pointed like they were in the 90s. She's a great quality. Um, they do have imprinted plastic underwear on, so she's not just exposed if you take off her clothes. But I was very, very surprised. The other thing is um, her hair quality. I will show you in a minute um, compared to a Barbie but she has much better and longer and prettier hair than the Barbies that I got. I was just so pleasantly impressed with these Sparkle Girl dolls. Way to go, Sparkle Girl. Then I found um, this Barbie. This is the You Can Be Anything Vet Barbie. So she's got a little kitty in her hand. And um, when I take the packaging off, if I can salvage this little puppy back there and that little kitty down there, I will try to, but I don't know if I'll be able to. She was $3.33. And then I 
And then this Barbie in her plaid dress and with her purple hair and her cute dimples. Aren't her dimples adorable? Um, again, I'm excited that most of the Barbies I hauled this time are Barbies of pigment. They aren't just white, blonde hair, blue eyed Barbies and that makes me excited. She was $3.33. This Barbie, guys, this Barbie has a story. There she is, she is so cute. I wish my hair looked like that. Um, her dress is adorable. Face is beautiful, but look, look close. She has a prosthetic leg. And at first I picked it up and I was like, oh no, I don't wanna send this. I want this child, I was only gonna get one Barbie in her whole life. I want her to have a perfect Barbie. And then I realized this is a perfect Barbie. And um, I well, don't know where this Barbie is going or who it is going to, but hopefully this prosthetic leg Barbie blesses someone and encourages them. Maybe they know someone um, who has prosthetics or maybe them themselves do. I just know that um, as I put this in my cart, I was like, man, this Barbie has a special little girl in mind that she is going to. And I wish I could be there to see when she opened it. Um, but there she is. And she was $3.28. And then the last of these kind of Barbies that I found was this girl. She is beautiful too. Look at her sassy dress with the poofy sleeves um, and her little fanny pack or in the UK bum bag. She is beautiful as well. Um, her sleeves are not poofy here, but I will show you in a minute. She was only $2.14. There is her barcode. And the reason that I have these is because I'm going to send this Barbie in her zipper bag. Um, I did find two of her, so I opened one. And here's what it looks like when you open it up and take out the trash plastic and just have Barbie in there. She has some really cute sneakers that you don't get to see when she's just in the bag. Aren't they cute? And here's her poofy sleeves. Once you take her out of the bag, they do poof up. Now, here's what I was talking about. Oh, her little fanny pack is falling off, we'll just take it off. Here's what I was talking about with the Sparkle Girls. Now, this is still beautiful Barbie hair. It has like a, a bluish tint to it. But if you see, it's kind of a, not all even. Still the little girl is gonna love playing with it. But look compared to this. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. But do you see how thick and full the Sparkle Girl Barbie's hair is? more hair to play with, more hair to brush and braid. Um, it's also longer and thicker than the Barbie hair. I just, again, super impressed with this. Now, another thing about Barbies, um, I've never actually sent a Barbie in a box. I always thought that they were too big and took up too much room. But then I thought about how much fun I had playing with Barbies and how much fun my nieces have, so. Um, I thought this was great. She'll have a place for her Barbie to stay. Um, and I'm gonna send two Barbies <laughs> per box because Barbie isn't any fun unless she has friends. So um, I did test it and you can get two Barbies in this one bag um, and along with accessories. The only thing is none of these Barbies I bought came with brushes. So I will be on the lookout for Barbie brushes, but I did find a slew of Barbie accessories that are not brushes. Um, we'll just go through these quickly. Um, this was skating accessories and it was $2.07. Again, I'm using the sticky notes because I'm gonna send these in these bags um, 
I will take out the paper and cut off all the plastic and send them as full as I can. But it's just, they're nice zipper bags and it'll be a nice place for her, her to keep all of her Barbie accessories. Um, this one, I was a little hesitant about because it is a red dress. But then I realized that um, in places like China, that is lucky and it would be a blessing for your Barbie to get to have a beautiful red dress and a violin. Um, and this was only a dollar twenty-four. This is a little schoolgirl outfit. She comes with nerd glasses and a science book. How fun! She was two dollars and eighty-seven cents. And this one I bought specifically for that Barbie right there that we'll get to in a second. Um, but it is mermaid things. Uh, the only problem is it does come with sandals, so I will take those sandals out and bless another little girl. Um, also, it comes with a popsicle. I'm not sure. I might, I might do something else with the popsicle because I don't like sending food items, food toys. Um, this was two dollars and seven cents. There's the barcode. And this one is um, for plus size Barbie clothes, and so. The Barbie with the plaid dress is considered a plus size Barbie, so she will get some clothes to go with her. And this was $2.94. There is the barcode for you to scan. And this one, oh my gosh, all the 90s vibes. In fact, I had this outfit <laughs> in middle school. Um, so, super cute, Barbie on the farm, $1.24. If I could have found more of these, I would, but this was the only one and I found it squished in the very back of the messy Barbie area. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, friends. Just a few more. This Elsa doll, isn't she beautiful? Um, glare. I saw her at multiple stores and she's originally $8.88, just like Buzz. And I saw her for $5 and I thought, ah, you know, it's just, it's just a few dollars off and I can buy Elsa anytime. If I really want to do an Elsa box, I don't mind coming back and paying $8. So I passed it up. Then the next one, she was like $7 and I'm like, whew, passing that up. But at my very last Walmart, this is why I always scan everything, guys. She was $2.40. Why? I don't know. But I got her. And now some little girl is going to have an Elsa doll in her Elsa themed shoebox. Okay. This one, I don't know if you can see, is Barbie Skipper Babysitter. And it comes with a little baby doll and a play bathtub. I was hesitant about this one too for a couple reasons. One, um, water is a luxury in a lot of countries and not something to play in. Uh, but this is a toy and you can pretend there's water and splash, um, pretend splash and pretend bathe. And, and then I thought, you know, it's, it would be a good thing to pretend baths on a regular basis just to get your mind thinking about hygiene and um, maybe someone out there is scared of baths and this would be a fun transition to bath time. Um, it comes with a little girl, she's cute, and the towel and the soap thing. But the other thing I was worried about is that this is a Skipper doll. I think Skipper doll is great. Um, actually, I like Skipper better than Barbie for several reasons. She's usually a little more modest. She's a little less developed, so it, she looks more realistic, like a real human. Um, but what concerned me about this is when you get this toy um, home, and all you have is the two dolls, and Skipper is, is obviously younger, um, it just seems to almost maybe encourage 
younger, um, having a child younger. And I, I didn't want to confuse the little girl. But I did buy two of these. And so I opened one up. And once it was open, my fears went away because she's so much fun to play with. Um, I love that they made her arm bent because the little baby doll just fits perfectly right in there. So cute. Um, and she has little purple streaks in her hair. Again, the sparkle dolls have better hair than Barbies. I was so surprised, but she's cute and has cute little red shoes. Um, and here is the bathtub. This comes out and there's a spot for baby to sit. If you do have the luxury to fill it up with water, you can squeeze the duck. See those little holes right there? Air comes out and it makes bubbles. Um, and then here is the baby that comes with it. When you push this lever, she play splashes. So cute. So I am really glad that I did get this um, despite all my ridiculous concerns, really, let's be honest. And then, oh, it also comes with a little lovey for the baby. How fun is that? One of the dolls that I was so excited about in the store was this mermaid because she is so pretty. Um, it is the only blonde hair blue eyed Barbie that I got and I'm thankful for that. Um, and she's a mermaid. So I was really excited to get her and bring her home. But then when I opened her up, I was a little disappointed. Um, she does this. She lights up if you squeeze her little tutu. Um, she lights up. But her back is kind of a nightmare. And it makes me a little sad. Um, plus, I'm going to have to include a screwdriver and some extra batteries so that the, this Barbie will be able to be played with for longer. Um, and then, this was originally a $17 Barbie, um, and I got her on sale for $4.47, so it's a steal of a deal, but if you look really close, I don't know if it's going to be able to pick it up, there, there we go, maybe, all that's holding her together is string in there, and I just don't know how long it's going to last, um, so for $17, it's a little bit of a disappointment. I'm glad I only paid four. Uh, but you know, if you want to include this, if you have a mermaid themed box um, and you want to find this doll in your Walmart, go for it. Uh, every toy is a blessing. Um, oh, the other thing is these two, these are screws to get to the battery box, but these are sensors. And if you dip her in water, she lights up as well, not just by squeezing her tutu. So, there's that. And I forgot, where did it go? Oh, I forgot to show you the Skipper Barbie barcode. Here you go. She was $5.72 which is at the high end for me, but I was okay with it because it came with two dolls. And then I saved my favorite for last. I don't know if you can tell, but I bought out the store. I bought out two stores. This is from Spirited uh, Untamed. She is beautiful guys the horse is beautiful um and she was six dollars and 39 cents again at the high end but you get two beautiful toys not just two 
not one Barbie doll and a little smaller doll, two big play dolls. And I think that it's going to fit in a box a lot better than a Barbie doll. <coughs> now, let me show you the cool things about this set. Here is the horse. He's so handsome. His little leg is bent, but his hair is so wonderful. We'll be able to be beautifully braided. This is uh, like a winner's circle crown that they give the horses when they win a race, and it's removable. She has a blanket saddle that is removable, and it is a plastic tail. I wish that it had been like the mane, a real hair tail. And then there's this piece that holds the doll on when she wants to ride, but it is also with a little bit of force, removable. It does leave a hole, but that's okay. Because little girls' imaginations um, will just remove the hole. The other cool thing about the horse is that his head moves. So he can say yes, you know, pretend to talk. But this doll, guys, she is the perfect little size or a shoe box um, and this is her crown it is also removable and she has great mobility because she see her little kneecaps she sits on the horse beautifully but she's good quality her hair is thick and beautiful and even better than the sparkle girl doll um, her boots are removable, so they just come right off in the back. And her dress, guys, it's so modest but, but bright and colorful. Um, it's this beautiful bright pink with almost a purpley ruffle. So beautiful. I wish I had 10 more of these toys to give away to little girls. The other thing is, look. It comes with a brush, so I don't have to search for Barbie brushes to go with this toy. Um, she is my favorite by far of everything that I got in this haul, and I am so grateful to be able to put her in one, two, three, four, five, six. I bought six of them. Six shoe boxes and send them away to beautiful little girls around the world. So. That's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you go out to your Walmart and get all of the things because I left some there for you. Just a, a few, just a little bit. Um, comment, let me know what you got. I really wanna get to know you guys. Um, let me know if you have a channel because I wanna follow you. I am already following several, several OCC YouTubers, but I know there's more out there, so. Um, let's be friends. I will see you next time. Bye.